Hello Booktube, my name is Jana and welcome to my new video. First, please excuse my wet hair, but I was actually in the shower when I decided that I really need to shoot this video. Otherwise, the book that I want to talk about today will haunt me for another night and I don't need that. Uh, it will be more like a discussion video than a real review because I finished this book like several days ago and I still don't know what to think about it. The book I, I want to talk about today is Adibas by Zaza Burkulavze. It was translated to English, therefore I'm doing this review in English just to have more people to potentially discuss this book. No, it's a, a Georgian author and the book is uh, about the war in, in Georgia with Russia in 2008. And uh, the main idea of the book is uh, about this bunch of people that are living very fake life. That's why it's like Adibas, you know, this like fake logos. Uh, and they just pretend like the war is not happening and does not affect them in any way. They are more interested in sex, drugs, uh, music, fashion, and so on. I chose this book because I actually worked in Georgia one year after the war as a humanitarian, so the topic was very dear to me. So even though the reviews were not great, I still wanted to read it because I thought that like I might be one of the people that actually liked the book. Now, did I like the book? No, absolutely not, definitely. But do I think it was a good book? Well, I think I have to say yes. And actually when I was rating it on Goodreads, I could easily give it like two stars or four stars. Then I decided for four stars because there was something about it. And I really don't know what. The thing is that because it's about this like fake life and like really shallow people, how the author describes the people, he's not just like, look at them, they are so shallow, they suck, they're stupid, you should hate them. It's actually the narrator of the book that is like that as well. So actually, this whole book is like 160 pages of shampoo bush. Like, <coughs> I can't describe it in any other way. Like, really, like the narrator just like described this girl, like how he had sex with her, and then like he, he meets another girl, and like he's just like admiring her boobs, and then there's this other girl that like he used to sleep with some time ago. And there's actually like nothing happening at the whole 160 pages. So this book is like very hated in like at least in like our Czech reviews. A lot of people DNF'd it just because like why to read something like that. <sighs> but you know luckily it's a really fast read. Like I did not suffer reading it as much like with other like well known authors when like every page was a chore, this was like really fast and you just like and you were at the end. Otherwise I think I would DNF it as well, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, after you finish it and you're like, huh. And it actually really starts you thinking, you know. So that's why I think it was a good book, even though it was just a shallow bullshit all the way from the beginning to the end. And, like, I'm really confused by the book. Well, like, the author definitely made the point he wanted to make. So, message delivered. So, I call that a success. So, it's a good book, right? Or do you think that, like, no, when it's bullshit, it's bullshit and forget about it and move on? Because... In a way, and that was not mentioned, like, not in the, like, nowhere. I start to thinking, like, if we are not, like, all of us a bit, like, the people in the book. Because 
right now we are in the war with the Islamic State and still we all just pretend it's not happening and we choose to ignore it and prefer to to be interested in music, fashion and the other stuff. Well, hopefully not drugs, most of us, but... Hmm. What do you think? Like, really, it's haunting me for the past four days in, since I finished it and I still can make up my mind if it's a good book or not. I'd be really grateful if, if someone could tell me how you judge if the book is good. Because liking it and being a good book, I think it's like two separate things. I can like a terrible book and still like it can be one of my favorites. But this one is the opposite. And I don't know, I'm I'm really confused. Like, ugh. Uh, I just want to put that book somewhere there on the shelf and forget about it, but I can't. And it's so terrible when a book you hate is stuck on your mind for so long. Do you understand? Have you ever had something like that as well? Please let me know in the comments because I would really love to hear if you have a book like that as well. So, that's all for today. Enough of my random ranting and rambling. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and bye!